love having you on. Okay, so why did the U.S. government use the post office to monitor what Americans post on social media? Don't we have a lot of government agencies that do that? I thought the post office was only about physical mail fraud. Why were they doing this? Well, they really can't come up with a legitimate justification. I mean, this is really outrageous. Look, the, the law enforcement authority, the Postal Service, extends only to violations of federal laws concerning the mail. So, yeah, they can investigate if someone steals mail, or they can investigate con artists who use the mail to defraud people. But to be monitoring social media and looking for, you know, they were using search terms like protest. So if I would, was discussing uh, protests I didn't like going on in cities across the country, all of a sudden I'm on uh, in, into the covert intelligence network of the Postal Service. Um, this, look, everyone involved with this, uh, implementing it, et cetera, needs to be terminated from the Postal Service. And frankly, the Department of Justice needs to open up an investigation to see whether any federal laws were violated by them doing this kind of thing. You know, Hans, it's like these unelected bureaucrats are using an internet yeah. covert operations program. It was called ICOP at the post office to spy on social media users. I, I, we, we understand it's for protests by both the left and right, but who knows what else they were doing and then secretly right. monitoring and collecting Americans' social media posts and giving them to other government agencies? We didn't even know what how we're being tracked by the government in this way, right? No, no, we don't. And look, this is the kind of thing that the communist government in China does. I mean, this is approaching George Orwell's 1984 that we have the U.S. Postal Service doing it. And, and remember, Liz, look, this comes on top of what we know that the FBI was doing when it was abusing the FISA law to spy on... Uh, a presidential campaign and members of an administration. And now we have the Postal Service doing the same thing with the American public for doing what? Expressing their First Amendment protected views about important issues yeah. in the American political arena. You know, we get it. The post office has the oldest police agency in the nation. Again, its job is to police the mail, crimes related to right. the mail, like mail fraud. The, we have agencies to even though they're not, you know, it's an invasion, it feels like, for looking at inflammatory posts which are actually protected under the First Amendment. But they were also right. using this artificial intelligence, this facial recognition technology system built in to their databases at the post office for images scraped off of social media. I mean, you know, here's the thing, Hans. Every, you know, there are people out there, a lot of people out there said, oh, you know, Trump's a fascist. we got to get rid of this fascist. We have a system here, Constitution, Bill of Rights, and a legal system, right, that will stop any pushes like that. What's dangerous is unchecked bureaucrats in government That's right. who can hijack it and do things that we didn't even know about. Your word on that. Oh, no, I agree. The most dangerous thing to Americans these days is the administrative state okay. and these un unaccountable, unelected bureaucrats that have this kind of power and Got get it. away with it. Okay, Hans von Spitkowski, good to see you. Report. Before I get into this.